Hello. In this video, we will show you some of the research that we conduct here in the psychology department at Carleton University. We'll meet some of the faculty and graduate students who conduct research, and we will show you what it's like to participate in research. Why do we conduct research in psychology? Most people are drawn to psychology because we're interested in how the mind functions and what causes people to behave the way they do. We conduct research to answer our questions about human nature and behavior. Through our research, we're looking for answers to important problems, such as how to eliminate bullying, facilitate healthy relationships, minimize procrastination, combat mental illness, improve the court system, or improve the process of learning. This helps other researchers, policymakers, and practitioners to solve everyday problems and improve people's quality of life. Why do we give students the opportunity to participate in research? Not only do we get course credit, which can make a big difference to our grades, but also participating in psychology research was a great way to learn about psychology. I got to meet some of the faculty and graduate students and learn about what it's like to be in a psychology lab. It really made the ideas we were discussing in class come to life. I found out I was interested in certain types of research, and it inspired me to volunteer in a lab. Eventually, I did my thesis project in the area. Why are we encouraging students to participate in studies that take place in the lab? Lab studies provide students with a unique opportunity to actually see the testing environment. It's like going into a chef's kitchen or a carpenter's workshop you get to have a more hands-on, memorable experience by seeing the tools and methods in action. Unlike online studies, students have the opportunity to meet the experimenter face-to-face -face and to interact with the equipment and materials. The lab studies also have the potential to be a much more interesting experience than online studies. Compared to the online studies, I found the lab studies to be much more interesting and engaging. For example, I had the opportunity to play the role of a juror, and also to gamble in a virtual casino. Participating in the lab studies helped me to feel more connected to the psych department. I felt like I was an important contributor to the process of research at Carleton. What can I expect when I show up to participate in the psychology lab study? You go into the room listed on the study advertisement. A person will greet you and invite you into the room. This person will either be the faculty member or the graduate student running the study. Then, it depends on the study. Some studies you do by yourself. In others, there are other participants as well. The psychology labs are very different. In some studies, you might interact with other students and play games as well as answer surveys, gamble in a staged mock-up of a casino, fly a flight simulator, think about your budget and then keep track of your spending over the course of a week, evaluate forensic trials, listen to music, play shooter video games. So far, we've reviewed why research is important, the types of studies you can participate in, and what you can expect when you participate. At this point, you might be wondering, how do I begin? The first step to participating in research is to sign up through the online SONA system. As a student in this course, you are automatically assigned a SONA account. Check your Carleton email. Once you're in the system, click on the study sign up icon. You will see a list of studies currently available for participation. Your instructor will provide more detailed instructions on using the SONA system, or you can visit the psychology homepage for more information. The faculty and graduate students look forward to seeing you.